Hello. Welcome to the next game. Brutal game. This takes place during a world war. Warsaw, an uprising, a resistance. We'll be playing on extreme difficulty, and we'll be starting the campaign with Kristoff, Jadwiga, and Casimirez. I hope I didn't butcher, ah, butcher those names. 1944. Battered by opposing forces on two fronts, the Third Reich begins to crumble. In Central Europe, Poland lies at the heart of the storm caught between the waning Nazi oppression and the rising Soviet threat. There's little hope for release. Despite the unfavorable odds, the Polish Home Army, now an underground resistance movement, is given the go-ahead by the country's government in exile. As the final part of the country-wide operation... Ah, The W hour. Are you kidding me? The uprising begins, but before you are thrown into the deep end, you will play a short tutorial. I'll leave this for everybody else to read and understand. So these, these are just blockades. We can't go through them. Not a, not even a bullet. Oh, okay, there we go. It's been a while since I've played the tutorial. 200 short ammo, 200 long ammo. Managing your ammo is important in this game. We shall eliminate them. All right. All right, so I do want to skip this tutorial, but since I don't want to explain the entire game, the basics, I'll play through it.
that was really expensive as a move. <laughs> the tutorials in these games. When you get better at them, you, you just, you cringe sometimes like, oh, why are they doing that? Jadviga? Jadviga? Is the game a little quiet for you guys? Yeah, there you go. It's it's a bit. Hey, there we go. I figured the game volume was kind of quiet, so I turned it up a little bit. There we go. It's actually somewhat important to optimize your damage with flanks. Dada. Note that you cannot use mow down because of your incorrect position. Yeah. Positioning and all of that shit is very, very important on this game. Burn. Bleed. Okay. Happy. Single shot is a skill that we will be using very often. Look at the ammo efficiency difference between these skills. Less damage and five times the ammo. This this bleed buff is only on here because of the contraband ammo. But uh, you can see the accuracy is lower by 20%. The only thing that's better is the crit and it ignores cover. But you can see that target acquired is able to target the front two rows, or any row actually. Whereas this only hits the back two ranks. so far out of position, this aggravates me. Alright, so I'm gonna use Casimirez's melee to uh, force him out of position. That's gonna be a running theme. Stop. Let me show them in the codex. Uh, that's Jadviga, Kristoff, Kazimierz. This is the Grenadier, so you can actually examine the exact skills, strengths, and weaknesses of every enemy you encounter. And it's important in this game to know, to end, to understand as well. So you can see the Grenadier, he's unable to target 
uh, or he's unable to use grenade throw from rank 4 in his position. Uh, it looks confusing because if you look at our skills, we are on the left, they are on the right. But when you go into the codex, you have to imagine it in reverse from the enemy side. So the farthest to the left is the enemy's fourth rank, and the farthest to the right is the enemy's front rank. This is the blue tiles that I'm talking about. Then the red tiles are us when we're looking at them in the codex. So the rifleman can literally use single shot and target any tile. And then he can use draw out, which pulls you out of position. So Grenadiers, push them to the back. They're very vulnerable in that position. Oh, crap. Uh, I thought I had Casimira as selected. Do. Alright, allow me. Push you out of position. Yeah, yeah. All right, so she can't move on top of the cover, so she just moved out of position. She just moved into cover, actually. Optimizing the flank damage. So these two characters switched positions since uh, he got pulled forward, so we're gonna... Oh, shit, we can't. Alright, well, single shot on this guy then. Uh, let me move this thing out the way. I can't actually see the top right enemy's HP bar. I'm gonna have to fix that soon. Looks like 17? He's dead. I, I can't actually see the enemy's HP bars. Uh, we'll just hold on. Oh, okay, that, that was enough to kill him. Really had a hard time telling the uh, HP bars and stuff there. Death is permanent. Whether in battle events, it is vital to keep your characters alive and well, especially since their health does not replenish automatically. While certain rewards may appear promising, sometimes it's better to limit your risks and avoid combat altogether, and that is very true in this game. There are a couple of broken combos and combinations of characters, but... Eh. Let us proceed. And we can look around this tutorial area all we want, but if you look at the bottom left, right corner of the screen, you can see that there's nothing else left, so there's nothing for us here. Mission summaries. And we have passed one day. Perfect timing! Hey! Extra ammo. I am all about that extra ammo. Hell yes.
don't have a lot of weapons to select from right now, but we will soon. The weapons in each playthrough are very, very random. So you gotta be versatile in what you're willing to use and adapt to. I will say, though, that the weapons you start with are not bad. They are... they are right decent. Oh, it keeps popping up the same tutorials over and over. I thought more was coming up. Kazimiras. So, we're gonna actually exchange out a couple of skills here. We're going to remove the contraband ammunition skill. And we are going to use single shot. Yeah, it's unlikely that we're ever even gonna use full auto. I mean, like, we used it that one time, but Kazimiras, he can... He can shove. Uh, where is it? Skills. Yeah, he can shove, so... He can push enemies back and then just shoot them with single shot, so... He, he doesn't really need the full auto. Mow down, we might use that a couple times, maybe. We're going to be very tight on ammo. Hospital. Yeah. XCOM. With your wound timers of 30 plus days. Get the hell out of here with that shit. You get one or two days on here and you can still use them. And this is uh, the recruits. The recruits used to be completely random what you would get, but it's not anymore. It's not random anymore. You can actually just choose the skills you like, but Snapshot is very good. Especially to have with Barricade, that's great. We can sell our weapons here that we don't want. We can sell extra ammo and stuff for supplies, which we will be doing very often. And we can repair here. <laughs> Somebody loses Jadwiga on day two. Jadwiga is one of the most powerful characters in this whole damn game. She's. It is ridiculous how strong she is. The. The power creep on that character is disgusting. We will be using that codex for the enemies quite a lot. Uh, did we miss any NPCs? This is the mission NPC. So this works just like XCOM 1 uh, when it comes to managing, you know, the uprising. Excursions, we are going to be paying good money for these. That's what we're going to be tight on ammo for because we're going to be selling our ammo to purchase as many excursions as possible. Attrition, they take more attrition, they lose more morale over time. Uh, this is a makeshift grenade. We don't, we, nobody we have right now can equip that. Uh, submachine gun. High-risk Nazi patrols? We'll probably get in more missions if we uh, do the shorter ones. And there's probably more Nazis to kill in a shorter period of days. So, uh, I think that concludes the tutorial of this. 
So that's how to play Warsaw, and we will be getting into this extreme difficulty run real soon.